Um, I just left the game on for a second and this came up. Sure. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Cool. Um, yeah, anyways, welcome back to Detroit. Become human. My name is Hannah. I didn't say that. Uh, what, what's wrong, girl? You seem troubled. You gotta say something. You gonna say something, huh? Anyways, last time, Marcus and his buds decided to go and broadcast a message, which I don't think was the smartest idea at this point in time, but they decided they wanted to do that. Things did not go exactly as I would have wanted them to, and I did not really want to ask for a whole state. And, uh, what else? Connor analyzed the scene and sacrificed himself yet again. Um... We need to proceed to a test of your controller. You've done this before. Stop. See, you're yellow blinky blinking. The test is now complete. Yeah, stop, stop vibrating my controller. Was that what was troubling you? Like, seriously, you look so troubled. Why are you so troubled? Alright, anyways, let's move on, because she's not saying anything, she's just looking around, looking sad AF. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to have Hank on the android side. And Connor has basically proven to be invincible. So, and I think the Deviant did die, right? Otherwise they really suck at shooting. Hey, Kara. The one thing I'm glad I didn't ask for the androids was, uh, for means of reproduction. That was not something I wanted to ask for, because I do not think they should reproduce. They don't, shouldn't be produced in, to begin with, but I think the ones that do exist should be able to exist in peace and not be forced into slavery. Where am I? Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need Where? to talk to her. Where am I? She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. What's this kid's problem? Do you think we can trust him? We have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? I'm with you. Trust no one. Come in. Though she does seem nicer than the other dude. More trustworthy. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. 
There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Ooh, something for me to read. Oh, not. Okay, I guess. I guess we bring her upstairs first. What's in there? You having trouble, Adam? You seem to be uh, running into some things. I mean, this place is definitely not as shady as the other place. I mean, I have yet to see any dungeon. be harmful. Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. <sighs> Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're unhappy. And they just need someone else to blame. Why can't we just talk to each other? That's what I say. You are not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Well, they seem nice. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Ah, oh, is Luther gonna say goodnight? Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. That's good. get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. 
Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. Rose, come quickly! Who are you? You sound like you have an accent. Can I read the magazine? No! How dare you put a magazine there that I cannot read? Also, what's uh, hip and happening? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? All right, see that? The R is actually lowercase. Why did she shut down? Let's let them be. Sweetie. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. No, you're not. A liar. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, oh. No! I won't back down this time. Jeans! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Well, that's fun. Um... How you doing, Alice? Still traumatized? Okay. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. Look, I don't want to cause you trouble. <laughs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay you here. In danger. I won't be long. I don't want to do it. I can read the main 
magazine. World War Three. Tell me. Oh, hey, y'all moved. I'll check on other stuff, too. AP 70. I do not know which one that is. I don't need to turn on the TV. gonna bother them. Oh jeez. I'm not gonna do that. Blue blood, why why is why is she helping? Oh wait, I could have looked over there. Police! It's the police! Shit. Okay. Find evidence of deviance. Get that. Get the blue blood. What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door! I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it! One seconds, I can. Hurry, Luther, take Alice and hide. <sighs> shit, 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 shit. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. That may not be the best decision, but. Is there? I see no other evidence. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. I see nothing else. Like anything else would be upstairs, and I got ten seconds. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. I mean... Notice anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Uh, move forward. No. No, nothing in particular.
Anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Probably should have said uh, Alice and Luther were here. That Luther was home android, but I've already made my decision. And that is my my choice, I guess. Shit, Alice has her clothes here. Can I like change my answer? his suspicion bar go? Thanks. Why would that arouse suspicion since you're looking at the thing? I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. other evidence. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Don't. Until he's driven away. He's gone. Okay. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose! Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. All right, there's no way this could go wrong. Midnight train going any... Okay. I didn't think the article would be... It's a freaking article on a... Uh, what stats? Um... <laughs> I'll see. I guess most people didn't let her see. I don't know. I thought she deserved to see. Just hiding shit doesn't do anything. Ah, family photo. Read magazine. Hide that. 
upstairs. Half the people said that, so that's probably the most picked option. We are sure to um, lie about Alice. Yeah, I'd, after I thought about it, I was like, nah, it's not the right decision. See, the article I still don't get. Like, of course the magazine has stuff on androids. Alright, but he left, so that's good. Ah, Jericho. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Who is this? Simon paid with his life. Is this North? Simon Brooks. gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's dare. enough! Okay, that is North. I thought she looked different. And now what are we gonna do? I just got here. Why y'all just... Man. There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security <laughs> systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Follow north. Like... I've been waiting a long time for this. All right, I'm coming. Okay, now I can do that. I was like, why, why is it not letting me? It's going over there, I guess. Look, this way! Quick! Why'd you pick Marcus to be the one on there? The one who has two different colored eyes. Like, that it's is okay, an they're gone. easily distinguishable feature. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Look, Marcus, I love you, buddy, but you are proving to be rather dumb. I preferred you when you were less dumb, more parkour. Come on, come on, buddy. You are free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Alright, alright, alright. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff. 
got ten minutes. Analyze the store window. Oh. And how do you want to deal with this shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now what's next? You see the alarm system? Okay. It's a camera. Found it. Alright, let's follow this uh, thing. Yeah, it goes that way. Convert, convert, convert. You are free. Watch both ways before you cross the street. Okay, that takes time. Stop looking. I can't do anything about it. Be with us. Marcus, Marcus, time. Nice job, Marcus. Our companions. Oh boy. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be Where? easy to reach. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Reconstruct. goes around. Simulate that. Nope. I find the right location to do. No. Ah, it's going to be the last one I check. I mean, the it goes in circles. It's not like you can't wait for. 
for it to come back. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. North is like, hi, you're destroying road. things. I like we need that. To block it. It's one way. Shouldn't be too difficult. North, can you actually make any decisions? Or am I the one who has to make all the decisions? And you just get a heart on every time Marcus. I kill something. Yes? Marcus, come look! One way. So I think we go. Let's convert these guys first, so they don't. You're free now. Mess things up. Nobody should bother us now. Okay. Now we take the truck. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. There it is. Open. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. So it doesn't give me an noise. option to look at things because it's like you're all done. Interesting. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. North, why are you like this? Whoa. Good thing none of the glass hit any of the androids. <laughs> have to obey them. You're free. Oh, 
North, are you able to do anything? Or do I have the magic touch? Hey, look, it's a Simon. Um. North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. All right, androids, gather round. We're starting a revolution. I once painted. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. Cool. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. I don't know. It's like I'm their commander now. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Jesus.
See, I wanted to go with the fist at first, but I feel like a lot of people would choose that. And all the androids have the little blinky blink on their head. It shows our emotions. It shows that they have thoughts. Hacker. Oh, geez. Hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. Fuck you, Don't North. Violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. Won't punish a crime with another crime. Can we at least take them like into prison? I 
Earth is going to be like, I don't like you anymore. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? <laughs> Well, let's see how this went. Send a message. Alright, world stats. Let's go to the beginning. Avoid police car. Strong. I mean, it seems to be pretty much like 50-50 for who did hacking and everything. I sent a strong message. Or, 73% went pacifist. 59% spared. Returned to Jericho. But a peaceful protest. Woo! Look, man, I like the androids. But... I'm not gonna pick androids over people. Even though people are shit and everything, they're still people. Androids, they have emotions and they are created by people. It's kind of a weird gray area because... I don't know, they were designed to do certain things. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I would like them to be free, but I don't think there should be any more of them created. Anyways. I'll talk to you guys later.